Welcome dear friends to my video lecture on net paper 1 unit 8 namely information and communication technology ICT net ICT I am Dr. I. G. S. Das, a former associate professor and a research supervisor from St. Xavier's College of Education, Palengote. After retirement, I am uploading quite a lot of educational videos for the sake of the net aspirants, namely net paper one aspirants and the net education aspirants, and uh, others also, those who are uh, appearing for competitive exams, etc. Thank you very much for your presence. Let us straight away enter into the topic. You know, this particular uh, unit has got four areas, four parts. ICT, general abbreviations, then basics of internet, intranet, email, audio and video conference. This is the second part. So, ICT, general abbreviations, first part. Basics of internet, intranet, email, audio and video conference is second part. Third part, digital initiatives in higher education. Fourth part, ICT and governance. So, we will be giving four videos on this. Now, first, in this particular video, we are going to talk about general abbreviations. What are the, uh, you know, general abbreviations that are related to information and communication technology? First of all, ICT. What does this refer to? That is information and communication technology. The overarching term encompasses a range of technologies for managing and processing information. So that is ICT. WWW, that is a world wide web, a system of interlinked hypertext documents accessible via the internet. Then HTTP, hypertext transfer protocol. The protocol governing the transfer of web pages and the resources on the web. That is HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Then HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. A secure version of HTTP that encrypts data between a user's browser and the website. That is HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. Then URL, Uniform Resource Locator. The web address that specifies the location of a resource on the internet, that is URL. URL. The HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, the standard language for creating web pages and web applications. Then CSS, Cascading Style Sheets, a style sheet language used to control the presentation and layout of HTML documents. XML, Extensible Markup Language, a language that defines the rules for encoding documents in a format that is both human readable and machine readable, that is XML, Extensible Markup Language. Then API, Application Programming Interface, a set of rules and tools for building software applications, API. Then LAN, Local Area Network, a network of interconnected computers and devices within a limited geographic area. Then WAN, W-A-N, Wide Area Network, a network that spans a large geographic area connecting computers and networks across cities, countries or continents. That is WAN, you know, a network that spans a large geographic area. Wide Area Network, that is WAN. Then VPN, Virtual Private Network, a technology that creates a secure connection over the internet, allowing users to access private networks. Then ISP, Internet Service Provider, a company that provides access to the internet and related services, ISP, Internet Service Provider. DNS, Domain Name System, the system that translates domain names into IP addresses, enabling computers to communicate over a network, domain name system. It is a system that translates domain names into IP addresses, enabling computers to communicate over a network. Then TCP IP, what does this mean? Transmission Control Protocol, that is TCP, Transmission Control Protocol. Then IP, Internet Protocol. The fundamental suite of 
protocols for transmitting data on the internet that is TCP IP then SMTP simple mail transfer protocol simple mail transfer protocol a protocol for sending email messages between servers POP P -O -P, post office protocol a protocol used to retrieve email from a remote server to your local client a protocol used to retrieve email from a remote server to your local client that is post office protocol POP IMAP internet message access protocol IMAP a protocol used by email clients to retrieve messages from a mail server IMAP then IOT internet of things the interconnection of everyday objects and devices to the internet allowing them to collect and exchange data that is internet of things SQL structured query language a language used to manage and query databases ERP enterprise resource planning software systems that integrate various business processes and functions within an organization ERP enterprise resource planning then CRM customer relationship management software and practices for managing an organization's interactions and relationship with the customers that is CRM customer relationship management then BI business intelligence tools and techniques for analyzing and interpreting business data to make informed decisions then GUI graphical user interface guide no? GUI graphical user interface a visual way for users to interact with computers and software using graphics icons and buttons that is graphical user interface of course you understand all this CPU central processing unit the primary component of a computer that exercises instructions and processes data so CPU means central processing unit what is the, the this the, what is what is it what is its root uh, road the primary component of a computer that executes instructions and processes data that is CPU then RAM or AM random access memory a type of computer memory that allows a quick access to stored data that is random access memory RAM then ROM ROM read only memory a type of computer memory that retains its content even when the power is turned off turned off I mean when the power is off still the computer will have the memory that's called a read only memory a type of computer memory that retains its content even when the power is turned off then SSD solid state drive SSD solid state drive a type of storage device that uses NAND based flash memory to store data so in order to increase the speed of the laptop center they used to have this one this drive will be fixed then LAN local area network a network of interconnected computers and devices within a limited geographic area that is local area network then WAN wide area network a network that spans a large geographic area connecting computers and networks across cities, countries or continents then URL URL uniform resource and locator I think we already said it the web address that specifies the location of a resource on the internet HTML already we have said it hypertext markup language the standard language for creating web pages and web applications XML already we have given again we are giving it extensible markup language XML XML extensible markup language a language that defines the rules for encoding documents in a format that is both human readable and machine readable that is extensible markup language 
then API application programming interface, a set of rules and tools for building software applications. Some of the questions we will analyze on this topic, I mean abbreviations. What does ICT stand for in the field of technology? A. Information and Communication Technology B. International Computer Technology C. Integrated Circuit Technology D. Informational Computing Theory What is the correct answer? Information and Communication Technology ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology which encompasses technologies used for communication and data management. Which abbreviation represents a standard protocol used for transferring files over the internet? A. HTTP B. FTP C. UDP D. TCP IP So, uh, what is the question? Which abbreviation represents a standard protocol used for transferring files over the internet? That is FTP. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol which is used to transfer files between a server and a client on a network. In networking, what does a LAN stand for? A. Local Area Network B. Long Area Network C. Limited Access Network D. Localized Access Node What is the correct answer? A. LAN stands for Local Area Network which is a network of interconnected computers and devices within a limited geographic area. What does URL mean in the context of the internet? URL, what does this mean? A. Universal Resource Locator B. Uniform Resource Locator C. Unified Resource Locator D. Universal Retrieval Locator What is the correct answer? B. So URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator which is the web address and it is used to locate a resource on the internet. I hope you understand this. Which abbreviation represents a widely used programming language for web development? Which abbreviation represents a widely used programming language for web development? A. XML B. SQL C. HTML D. API so, which is the right one? Uh, yeah. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, a fundamental language for creating web pages. So, that is the correct answer, HTML. The question, which abbreviation represents a widely used programming language for web development? That is HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. What is it? VOIP stand for in telecommunication technology. A. Voice over internet protocol. B. Video over internet protocol. C. Virtual office internet protocol. D. Voice of internet protocol. Correct answer will be A. Voice over internet protocol. That is what VOIP stands for. VOIP stands for voice over internet protocol which enables voice communication over the inter internet. In computer security, what does a VPN stand for? A. Virtual private network B. Very private network C. Verified personal network D. Virtual public network What is the correct answer? That is A. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network providing a secure and private network connection over a public network like the internet. What does PDF stand for in document formatting and sharing? A. Portable document format B. Personal document format C. Print document format D. Public document format That is uh, A. No, the portable document format is the right answer. PDF stands for portable document format, a file format used for document sharing and printing. Next question, in data, uh, database management, database management, what does SQL represent? A. Structured Query Language B. System Query Language C. Standard Query Language D. Server Query Language 
so uh, what does sql stand for that is structured query language a domain specific language for managing and querying databases so that is the idea here structured query language what does iot stand for in the context of modern technology a internet of things b integrated object technology c intelligent object transfer d information on things so iot stands for internet of things which refers to the interconnected network of devices on the objects that can communicate and exchange data that is what is iot stands for so once again i repeat iot stands for internet of things which refers to the interconnected network of devices and objects that can communicate and exchange data what does isp stand for in the context of ict isp what does this mean a internet service provider b information security protocol c integrated system programming d in intranet server protocol which is the right one isp stands for what internet service provider uh, isp is a company that provides internet access to individuals and to businesses which abbreviation represents a method for secure data transmission over the internet which abbreviation represents a method for secure data transmission a http b ftp c ssl d www so correct answer will be ssl what does this mean secure sockets layer ssl means secure sockets layer it is a protocol that ensures secure data transmission over the internet in ict what does cpu stand for a central processing unit b computer peripheral unit c control processing unit d central print utility <coughs> so which is the correct answer central processing unit that is cpu so cpu is the primary component of a computer responsible for executing instructions and performing calculations what does html represent in web development a high level text markup language b hypertext markup language c human transmitted markup language d hypertext transfer markup language so what does html stand for that is hypertext markup language html is the standard markup language for creating web pages so html uh, stands for hypertext markup language so it is for creating web pages what does dns stand for in networking and ict a domain name system b data network service c digital network security d distributed network storage what is the correct answer domain name system dns is a system that translates domain names into ip addresses facilitating internet communication so dns is a system that translates domain names into ip addresses facilitating internet communication which abbreviation represents a widely used email protocol a http b ftp c pop d imap 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 internet message access protocol is a common email protocol used for retrieving emails from a small uh, from a mail server and synchronizing them across device so imap means what IMAP that is internet message access protocol is a common email protocol used for retrieving getting emails from a mail server and synchronizing them across devices that is IMAP which abbreviation represents the fundamental unit of data in computing and digital communication a cpu b ram or am c bit uh, d isp the correct answer will be bit which stands for binary digit 
fundamental unit of data in, a, in computing and digital computing, it is a bit. Bit stands for binary digit, representing the most basic unit of digital data in computing. Which term refers to the process of converting analog signals into digital signals? Analog signals into digital signals. A. ADSL, B. DAC, C. ISP, D. WAN. The correct answer will be DAC, DAC, which stands for Digital to Analog Converter. Converting digital signals, digital signals into analog signals. So that is a DAC, right? Of course, you are, uh, you are understanding this. Try to put it into your memory, please. So, uh, DAC, it stands for Digital to Analog Converter, converting digital signals into analog signals. In computer storage, what does SSD stand for? A. Solid State Drive, B. Serial Storage Device, C. Standard Storage Disk, D. Secure Storage Drive. SSD stands for Solid State Drive, a type of storage device that uses NAND based flash memory to store data, I mean quick memory, you know, as possible, the flash of memory, you know, in, in seconds it comes probably. So then which abbreviations represents the protocol used for secure communication over a computer network? Which abbreviation represents the protocol used for se uh, securing communication over a uh, computer network? A. HTTPS, B. FTP, C. TCP, IP, D. UDP. HTTPS stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, providing secure communication over a computer network. Which term represents the unique identifier assigned to devices on a network? IP address, MAC, MAC address, URL, ISP. The correct answer will be IP address, which stands for Internet Protocol Address used to uniquely identify devices on a network. Dear friends, we have given most important uh, abbreviations in ICT. Thank you for uh, listening to my video lecture. God bless you abundantly. Let us meet in other three units, that is basics of the internet there. You know, there we are going to talk about the intranet, all these things. And so three more areas are there. We will be speaking uh, one after another. God bless you abundantly. Let us end this video lecture. Kindly go through everything again and again. Kindly subscribe also.